What's up, y'all? So what I want to talk about today is how you can use AI for product photography. So the issue before is when you try to use different AI models for product photography, what it would do is it would take the picture of your product and create an AI version of that product. So for example, let's say you have some sunglasses and you went to ChatGPT. So you took the picture of the sunglasses and you wanted to put them in a specific background that you created using a prompt. So what ChatGPT and these other AI models would do is create an AI version of your product. So the problem with this is your product isn't consistent. It's an altered AI image of your product. And ultimately, if you want to use these photos for content, whether on your website or social media, that would create an issue. So you want your product photos and what your product actually looks like to be as close as possible. So I found an AI image model that does this. So the tool is called Gen 4 by Runway. And this is where you can upload a picture of your product, then create a prompt to place it in any background that you want. Also maintain that product and image consistency so your product doesn't get altered in the final version. So instead of having to go find a photographer, pay them, stage a shoot, this can serve as an alternative to help you save some time and money. So this is the product we're going to be using for our AI product photography. I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see it better. So I'm going to use my phone to take a picture of this product and we're going to use AI to place it in different backgrounds to create some cool photos. So I'm going to be breaking down the full process of how to do this. So y'all make sure y'all follow along. All right, y'all. So the first thing we need to do is just take a picture of our actual product. So I'm just going to take a couple pictures of this creatine against this backdrop. Now, just to give a disclaimer. This doesn't work 100% of the time. Sometimes it will alter the way your product looks and it doesn't always get the text right. A lot of AI models struggle when it comes to creating and maintaining text on images and product photos. All right, y'all. So this is the image of our creatine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to replace the background for this to create some product photos. Now, before we do this, if you took the picture on your iPhone, it may be in a HEIC file. So you need to convert that to JPEG before you can do anything with it. I like to use this website called I Love IMG. So I'm just going to click convert to JPEG right here. Then I'm going to upload that image. Then I'm going to download that image. So like I said before, we're going to be using the Runway Gen 4 image model. And we're going to access that on Replicate.com. Replicate is a platform that gives you access to all different types of AI models. So you don't have to go and visit all these different websites. You can get access to different AI models on the same platform. Also, it charges you on a per usage basis. So you wouldn't have to pay a monthly subscription to use these different models. You just pay every time you use them. So I'm going to come in this right hand corner and then I'm going to hit Explore. We're going to look for image models. And like I said before, in Replicate, you can access all these different AI models. So this is a cool platform to compare different AI models and see which one works the best for what you're trying to accomplish. Now, another thing you can do is you can just type in the model that you're trying to find. So I can say runway and we're going to be using runway gen 4 image. So it's pretty simple how to use this AI tool. All you have to do is type in your prompt and what you want to do to the picture that you're uploading. But also use this tags to identify what's in the picture, right? So right here we have the at woman tag and the at man tag and the at park tag. So what the model is doing is it's able to understand what's in the images based off the tags, right? So this would be the woman tag right here. And then this would be the man tag. And then this would be the park. So right here, we have the reference image of the park. We have the reference image of the woman. And then we have the reference image of the man. Then you add your tags right here. So you have the park, the man, and the woman. Then it all comes together when using this prompt because now you have the woman, man, and park tag. And as you can see in this image right here, it's maintaining character consistency. So this woman right here looks the same as this reference image right here. Now for this man right here, he looks the same as this reference image right here and the same goes for the park, right? So this is why I was saying that this AI tool works the best for when you want to use AI for product photography, because it's not going to change how your product or the objects look when you create your new image. So now what we're going to do for our image is we're just going to get rid of these and then we're going to upload our file as a reference image. So the next thing we can do is we can get rid of these tags because we don't have a man, woman or park anymore. We can have a tag of product, let's just say. You can go general with product or you can name the product so I can say the creatine container, right? But I'm just gonna use product as our tag. So now when I come up here and I type in my actual prompt, I'm going to tag the product, right? And what I wanna do with it. So I can say place the, and then I'm gonna use the add tag. So I'm gonna say product. So it understands the object that I'm talking about in my reference image. So this is the prompt that I'm using. 
It says, place the product seamlessly in a dimly lit gym floor surrounded by weights and workout equipment. Make a spotlight shine on the product to make it the focus. Make it look like a high quality product shoot. So we're going to leave this aspect ratio the same. We're going to keep the resolution the same. We have our reference image of the actual creatine and we have our tag. So now we can just come and we can hit run. And it usually takes less than 30 seconds to generate, which is cool. So now we have our actual product photo. As you can see, there's a spotlight shining on the product. It's on a gym floor and it's surrounded by gym equipment. So it followed our prompt pretty accurately. Now you can take whatever product you want to shoot and you can place it in all these different environments and change the background. And now you can use this for content for social media or for your actual website and use it to promote your product. Okay, so now let's test out another prompt. Okay, so now what we have for our second prompt is place the product seamlessly in a beautiful forest surrounded by nature with natural lighting. Make it look like a high quality product shoot. So we're gonna keep everything else the same and we're just gonna hit run. Okay, so now our image is ready and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's in a forest and it has natural lighting surrounded by trees, leaves, and a bunch of green stuff. So once again, it followed the prompt accurately and it didn't change what our product actually looks like. And like I said before, this is the issue with a lot of different AI models when it comes to replacing backgrounds and putting products in specific backgrounds. It changes what your product actually looks like and it doesn't maintain that consistency, but this is not the case with Runway's model. All right, so just to teach y'all a little trick of what I like to do is I like to use ChatGPT to help me out for the prompting. So I could say something like this. So I can come here and upload an image of the product. Okay, so this is a prompt that I have. Give me some prompts to create stunning backgrounds to put this product in. Use the at product tag in the prompt, make it professional, high quality, and focus on lighting, aesthetics, tone, and visuals. All right, so now ChatGPT has all these different prompts I can use to put this product in different backgrounds. So we have a luxury gym aesthetic, a scientific lab precision, minimalist marble elegance, performance energy scene, bold color pop, nature power setting, industrial strength look, premium shelf display. All right, so now we can just come and take these different prompts and copy and paste them. So let's take this scientific lab precision one. Then we're gonna come back to runway and we're gonna paste it. And we're gonna see what it does. Okay, and this is the actual prompt. Product on a polished stainless steel lab table surrounded by subtle glass beakers and scientific equipment and a soft blur. Bright white light with cool undertones, crisp shadows, high-end commercial photography, hyper detailed textures. And as you can see from here, it's in a scientific lab. We have the beakers in the back and it followed our prompt accurately. Okay, let's take another one. All right, so we have a deep gradient backdrop. Let's try this one right here with the bold color pop. Okay, so this is the next prompt that we have. The product is isolated against a deep gradient backdrop transitioning from electric blue to rich violet. Soft room lighting accentuating the edges. Ultra sharp focus on the label. Premium advertising style. So we're just going to come down here and we're going to hit run. All right. This looks really good because it's a gradient, right? So you have this blue and then it's transitioning to purple in the background. Then we have our creatine. So it adhered to the prompt very, very closely. One thing you can do if you create an image that you really like is you can come here and you can download it. Then you can upscale the image to make it look higher quality and high definition. So you can come back to I love IMG, come back to the homepage, and then you can come here and you can hit upscale image. Then you can drop your image right here. So this is the original image that we have, and this is the upscaled image. So as you can see, it looks way higher quality. So if it looks good, we can come down here and we can hit upscale. Then we can download the actual upscaled image and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see, this looks like a professionally taken photo and we used AI to do this, which is pretty cool. So if your original image doesn't capture the small details with little text, then it may not always show up like right here, but it's just a small detail that people probably won't even notice. But as you can see, this will transform something like product photography. All right, y'all. So that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, do me a favor and share it with a friend or drop a comment below and I'll catch y'all for the next video.